The I shot and scored award goes to the goalie in Spain who scored on himself. The missed it by that much award goes to Robert Sundstrom for his unique dismount. The Olga Corbett at 40 award goes to Paul Hunt who dresses like a woman and performs gymnastics. Smile for us, Paul. That's very nice, Sweet Cheeks. The Kathleen Sullivan Sarajevo Memorial Award is presented in the ring. Listen this carefully. This is Megan. She went to Cal State College out in Fullerton. She'd like to be a newscaster. So she does the CBS Morning News. The NBC Belly Flop Cannonball Award goes to Tark George for his innovation in ski jumping. That's a 10 an hour goal. The Canine Catastrophe Award, you know it, Murph the Mutt. Now this next event combines motorcycle riding, barrel jumping, and tumbling onto the boxes, onto the hay bale, stand up. Look for that in the next Goodwill Games in place of Moto Ball. And we say to half hands and half, for gosh sake, simply look out. Look at him go! Oh! What a score! The Cow Folk Award is presented to these young mutton busters. You know, mutton busting, where the men are boys and the sheep know it. <laughs> Top of the screen here for the Double Triple Award presented to Michigan State coach Jed Heathcote. Nice shot, coach. Finally, your practice now now you guys stand up and now it's your turn Whoa. Where he throws this one. All right, catcher. Look at the pitcher. The other way, pal. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, off his head. I love this throw. <laughs> hey, good. This is perfect balance. I want you to watch the balance here, John. Ooh. Uh, you think it was wet? Whoops. <laughs> Like playing on the waterbed. <laughs> Big leaguers in action. Watch this slide. This is a great slide. I love it. <laughs> oh, home at last. What? What's this? I mean. Whoop. <laughs> Nobody near him. See? <laughs> Whoop. <laughs> wait, wait. Watch this guy. Wait a minute. Look at this. Look at, what is this? He's trying to get home. <laughs> John, you remember this? Watch oh, yeah. Watch this. This is it. your favorite. Now, this is the favorite. Watch this. Yeah, now watch what happens after this. Now, now the cat unsheathes. If you were a tree, what kind of tree would you be? If I was a tree? Yeah, what kind of tree would you be? You ain't speaking my kind of language. <laughs> From the excesses of media hype to basketball, little Tyrone Bogues gets himself sandwiched between Patrick Ewing and Sidney Green of the Knicks. Benny Johnson of Detroit is tied up in unusual fashion by Mark West on orthodox defensive maneuver. Easy hoop here for Shelton Jones of St. John's and Shelton casually moves back down court. To the sport of boxing. This is Keith Roberts with the big swing and miss. Terrence Ali got the worst of it in his own corner. In the NHL this past season, for Gord Danita, the Islanders, a forgettable moment as he accidentally beats his own goaltender. The Kings and the Caps try to figure out just how many players can fit into a single hockey net. And off the faceoff, Ed Olchuk of Toronto stick handles the puck and the Blackhawks, Troy Murray, up the ice. 
On to baseball and some pitching problems. Eric Plunk of Toronto bounces one in in the strike zone, but slightly off the mark. Jesse Orozco of the Dodgers with a rather unique delivery. In Pittsburgh, a new kind of pitch, a paper airplane right over the plate for call strike one. And we close with the unusual. Albert Hall of the Braves had somewhat of a problem with the weighted donut that would not come off his bat. Then there was Dan Gladden of the Twins who wanted a timeout, but the plate umpire would not give it to him. So Gladden is a strikeout victim of Charles Hudson of the Yankees. And how about this ground foul in Atlanta down the line, but apparently the cameraman had other matters on his mind and in his lens rather than following the baseball. run of the season with this base hit to left. Not to be outdone, the Royals got into the act, these Royals, as Fergie's princess was finally born on Monday the 8th at, you guessed it, 8.18 p.m. London time. The same day Minnesota plugged into the planetary numbers game, pulling off not a twin killing, but a triple play. Dan Gladden off the drive by Joe Carter to Steve Lombardozzi over to Gene Larkin. It was the Twins' eighth triple play in their 28-year history. But the digital centerpiece on Monday was baseball's eighth wonder of the world, Wrigley Field. The final countdown as the state ballpark moved into the modern era of night baseball. The lights were just fine, but not so the weather. At 8.15 Central Time, the rains came. Despite the eventual rain out, spirits were not dampened as Wrigley's nightlife began wet and wild. It wasn't Monday, but Twins ace Frank Viola had the number eight in his sights. On Wednesday, Viola became the Major's first 18-game winner with a 10-4 victory over the Indians. Also on Wednesday, one was the loneliest number that you'll ever hear as the Giants' Don Robinson and the Angels' Willie Frazier both tossed one hitters. For Robinson, it was his first shutout in, could it be, well, yes, eight years. The biggest and longest awaited number of the week finally arrived for number eight Mets catcher Gary Carter on Thursday. After 225 at-bats, Carter hit his 300th career homer, the 59th player to join that exclusive club. As Gary was heard to say after his historical clout, gee, it really feels great to get out from behind the eight ball. Walt Terrell had a one-hitter going. It was a tainted Ricky Henderson triple. Then Henderson barreled into Matt Noakes, and the Yankees had the game tied 2-2. Then, bottom of the ninth, just the second hit off Terrell, a Claudel Washington home run to win it. Yankees three, Tigers two. Hey, just like he did it in batting practice, right? The second best catch of the month, Bo Jackson. Who would rob Jack Clark? Watch Bo's reaction afterwards. Siag, watch that on DAF. I'm going to be on a sports machine. You're there, Bo. All right, best catch. Mets Len Dykstra over the shoulder. Len, that's four appearances on the sports machine this summer. That's enough. The worst catch, Daryl. Daryl Strawberry in right field. The best chase scene since the great escape. The fan who lost his shoe in St. Louis. Secure it. Man, forget that, Reebok. Leave the shoe, you dummy. You're going to pay a $300 fine. Quickest way to become a soprano. It happened in a baseball game between the Cubs. Hey, whoops. High pop foul. Best act without a safety net. Cubs Mark Grace and Jamie Moyer. No safety net on this play. They come over. Boom. Now, they tell me the Wrigley Field railings are supposed to be secure. Look at the Padres. Get out of our dugout, man. You're out. Great catch, by the way, on the play. Quickest way to become a soprano? Oh, Eric Davis from Pascual Perez. You know what happens when that happens? Your stomach gets the shakes is what it is, man. Oh, baby, make it roll a while. Roughest homecoming. Glenn Hubbard, say hello to Andy Allenson of the Indians. Hey, he was safe on a play. Go back and touch home. Now you're safe on a play, sure. The mugging of the month. Ozzie Smith and the Cardinals on Will Clark of the Giants. However, the hero to the rescue award of the month, Candy Maldonado, who cold cocked Ozzie at second base. The best combination of the punch of the month. Was it Mike Tyson? No, ladies and gentlemen. It was our own Doc Edwards. Boy, what a solid right and a left. Go get him, Doc. In golf, the best reaction with no reward. Wayne Riley has got the perfect shot. The per Oh, it rolled by, didn't it, Wayne? What a great reaction, just like the rest of us who don't know how to play golf. The best golf shot of the month, folks. This may be the shot of the year. Lenny Watkins in the British Open, one, two, and then a friendly roll.
right in, in 50 mile an hour winds. Lanny, are you good? Hey, you get a free ticket to see Ricky tonight. Get out of my way award, Al Unser Jr. on Emerson Fittipaldi. Emerson Fittipaldi into the wall. The best sign language award. Does this man know how to give signs? Let me ask you this. Does he make his message clear? Do you think Emerson, yeah, I think everybody can understand the final words of Emerson Fittipaldi. The roughest ride on water to Tom Dee in Miss Budweiser in Evansville, Indiana, which would land upright. It has been a rough landing, a rough year for Miss Budweiser in 1988. The roughest bull ride of the month. Other than Johnny Jankowski, Shane Thurston on the bull called Taking Care of Biz, who is a very good friend of all the dentists here in Cheyenne. Shane will go visit them now. And the man who most needs the caffeinated coffee, if he's going to watch the plays of the month, folks. Hey, there's got to be a bug in there somewhere, man. Quick, quick. Ah, i got to go see Ricky. i got to get it, man. This show's got to me. I'm doing my, that's our sports machine.